Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at an RTA from Greece and it's by Cloud Mod Cloud Mods Mod me me Cloud Mod me Cloud Mods. Jesus. And it's the, it's the Cloud One blasted. Should I start again? No. What the hell? Let's keep going. Uh yes, Cloud Mods and it's the this is the actually this is the version 4. Now this little RTA has been out for a while in various incarnations and the first time I saw it was when uh, Damien, a uh, bloody good vaping, reviewed it a while ago and I've never seen one in the metal, I've never vaped with one but then George has got in touch and they sent over the, the latest version which is going to be the last version of this RTA, I think they're moving on to other stuff after this but um, and said, do you want to have a go at it? So, here we are, one video with me tripping over my words. Now there are links in the description. Uh, you can get this in shops, and I think it works at about 150 euros if you buy it from a shop. Uh, you can join the Facebook group, and I'm sure they do it for about 130, 140 euros in the Facebook group. There will be shipping costs on top of that, of course. It's a 22mm Atty and it comes with two PMMA, PMMA? No, yeah, two, two tanks. I just, I, I should drink some alcohol. It comes with two PMMA tanks, one frosted, one clear, and it has a sandblasted finish. Uh, but I'll cover all that in the close-ups. Uh, the thing is that I will say at the start, this is... I really like that. I enjoy vaping with this. It's, it's nothing complicated. There's no major bells and whistles. It's nothing new, and I don't mean that in a derogatory way. I it just it's nothing new. It's nothing that you haven't seen before, design-wise. That but it does have some nice little tricks. This is a solid RTA, and the flavour from it for me is tremendous. But I'll cover all that at the end. There are some negatives. I'll make that clear now. But um, yes, before I screw anything else up, close-ups. So for your hard-earned cash, this is what you get. The at is going to arrive in a little leather pouch like this. So you've got the, the company logo on here, Cloud Mods, and it, it's all in here. It's all packaged well, little clasp, and you'll find all your gear inside this. There will be one frosted polycarb tank. Now this tank holds 3.7 millilitres of e-liquid. So this is the first one that you get, which is the frosted, and it does have the little o-rings in there for it as well. You'll find a bag of spares, and you'll find an Allen key in here as well. You'll find two little mouth-to-lung reducers. Uh, now this tank, as standard, has two two mil air holes, uh, but these are little peak things. These are one mil in diameter, so you can take it down to two one mil air holes. I'll fit these in a second and I'll show you how to get them out. There is a procedure for removing them. And then you have the tank itself. Now, all the parts here, uh, all the metal, everything, it was all made in Greece. So this is 316 stainless steel and peak insulators going on here. And actually, the only thing that didn't come from Greece are, uh, were the screws and I think the pin. Uh, once again, 316 stainless steel, but they came from the UK. It's 22 millimetres in diameter, and the main thing here is that uh, we no longer have, you know, cloud or boosted or anything written down here. We just have, you know, this little logo here, and you can see that this is like a media blasted. It's media blasted down the bottom. We have our serial number there as well. The 510 does protrude, and we do have adjustable AFC. You can see that this is down in a little, there's a tab here, so you can only spin it so far, it locks off and then goes back, and you have that on both sides. Up the top we have a 510 drip tip, and that comes off no problem. Uh, if you wanted to fill this with juice, you just unscrew this piece here. This is quite well, I do like the design in this. I like how that's been done, it's quite smart. But underneath there you're going to find two fill holes, or one fill hole and one air release. Uh, but be careful, you know, this is, you have to pretty much use a needle nose bottle or similar with this. Uh, but these little o-rings have a tendency to come away uh, in the, the nozzle of your bottle, so, so watch out for that. But once again, these hold 3.7 millilitres of juice. The drip tip, and up here, is actually your juice flow control. So I can spin that, and you can see that the 
tank inside. The tank, the bell inside is actually moving and that opens up your juice flow control. I can also unscrew the deck here and what you can do is, you know, it's easy enough to take the deck off, leave juice inside the tank, put this to one side and you can work away on your build and not worry about losing any juice. And don't forget, you've got this one, this is the polished polycarb, and you've also got the frosted one as well. So in the middle, we have two two millimeter air holes in here. These are gonna be directly under the coil. You will get, a, there's a, you'll get a three mil coil in here, no problem, a simple round wire, three mil coil in here. Uh, I have been using some fancy little fused claptons in here as well, but this is not meant for rowdy builds at all. Uh, you, you don't get big beefy wire trapped under here. It's not that kind of RTA. We have two wells, one on either side, and I'll put a build on this in a little bit, but we also have slots cut down here. And you can see that you know the center one is longer than the other two here. So depending on how far you undo your chimney, depends how much juice you're going to get up to your deck. We also have a, an O-ring in here. Now be careful, uh, don't, don't be like Todd. Don't be like Todd. Uh, what I actually did was I wasn't paying attention and I actually screwed down my cap. I over tightened it and I managed to catch this and chew the living hell out of one. So this is actually my spare one. So be very careful when you're screwing your, your tank actually back down. So the little mouth to lung reducers, I mean, obviously your coil is going to have to be out and you just take them like that and you just pop them down. They're only going to go in one way and uh, just get my nail in that, push it down, and they are a tight fit. Same with the other one, pop that down, boink, and that's it. So, uh, you can see we now have two one mil air holes. Now, there is a procedure for getting these off. I wouldn't try pulling them out with any tools, you will just damage them. But uh, the easiest way to do it is, well, first off, what you want to do is grab your Allen key and you want to undo the 510 pin. Just make sure that I've got it right out. There we go. Then grab the deck and just twist. And that'll come off. Be careful you don't lose this O-ring. You should have, I should have told you to take that O-ring out the way first, but just put that to one side. Then just grab your little Allen key and you can see you've got the two air holes here and just I'm just gonna push them out so that's one out, and I would do this in a safe location. You don't want to, you know, it to be going them to go flying on the shed floor, shall we say, and disappear forever. So be careful. But there's the other one just come out there as well, and that's just pushing them from underneath. Now putting this back together, there is a, a knack to doing it. So I'm just screwing in the 510, but I'm just going to just keep going here, and I'm just going to screw it all the way up here. So there we go, there's my 510 pin all the way through. I'm then going to take my positive post and you can see that you've got a screw hole there and I'm just going to pop this on here but I'm just going to give it a couple of turns. I just want it to catch basically and just turn it a couple of bits so it's still loose. You can see it's still loose there, I've not tightened it down and then I'm just going to grab this piece here, pop my positive through there, you can see it's all back there and then screw this down. Make sure that's screwed down and just tighten up that at the bottom. And that's you, that's you back together. So yes, it's a bit of a, a bit of a faff getting the, the mouth to lung reducers out, but uh, I'll talk about that more at the end. Now I will say they did send on some Ultum. You can buy these separately, so you can get an Ultum chimney and an Ultum tank, and I really want to use it. Would you mind if I use this? Uh, to hell with it. No, I'll stick with the classic look, but uh, just so you know that these are also available separately. So before I forget, AFC back on. Make sure that's pushed down. Grab my O-ring. Make sure that that's sitting in that, you know, there is a slot going around there for your O-ring to sit in. And hopefully this will show up. You can see, you know, just what kind of size of wire you're going to get under there. Once again, it's not going to be anything chunky. I'm using some inner wire here 
and uh, I'm actually going to have my coil facing up the way and hopefully I can zoom in on this. I have Because this is so small, <laughs> I do actually have to do this on the tabletop. It's not like I can do it freehand, but it's, it's really easy to just, you can see I've just spun the wires around there and then I'm just going to screw this down. And then doing this old school, I can just spin the wire like that and it snaps off. It's ages since I've been able to do that in an atty. Now you can see here, and that's a 26 gauge wire, three millimeter inner diameter. You know, it's quite tight in there, but uh, yeah, that's what I've been using quite happily. Cotton wise, I'm actually, what I've been doing is I've been taking my mark, uh, the O-ring in the base there. That's where I've been cutting my cotton flush with. And then I kind of just fold my cotton down into that little well. Uh, it's it's really, I mean, this thing wicks incredibly well. Uh, there's no great secret to putting a build in this. Just don't go stuffing cotton in, going crazy. Uh, but, I mean, I'm using a heavy VG. This is the build I've been using every single time. And it's, it's worked very, very well for me. So I'm just going to grab my chimney. I'm going to slot it over there and screw this down. There she goes, all the way down, pop my top cap on, screw that down. Now keep an eye on that o-ring, make sure that the o-ring is fully seated and that when you're screwing this down you're not chewing up that o-ring. And there we go, that's it. I've not cranked this down, it's just, yeah, I can feel a resistance so that'll do me. So using a, a bottle here, you can see I've got a needle nose bottle here. You know, I've cut this off a fair old bit, but I can still, you know, that'll still go in there and I can still fill this up with juice no problem. Once again, be careful that you don't lose the little O-rings there when you're filling it up. And then I'm just going to screw this back on. And then I'm just going to start unscrewing the juice flow control here. I just give it three turns to start off with. I mean, that's where I start off with. I mean, everybody's going to be different, but uh, yeah, that, that's it. Uh, I would say, as always, this is pretty much bog standard, but you know, I've undone the juice flow control. I've turned my wattage down and I'm going to break this in and make sure that I've got juice going to that wick. So when you undo your juice flow control, don't go setting your wattage up to 30, 50 watts or whatever. Break it in gently until you make sure that it's wicking properly. So there we go, and this is it sitting on the Optimus 18 from Amber Mods, and I think that looks bloody gorgeous. I really do. Now I've made sure that this is wicking perfectly now. I've increased the wattage. I'm now up to 25 watts, and the coil settled at just over 0 0.5, so that's bang on for me. And I actually had, uh, the last coil I had in this was actually 0 0.35, and I was running that at 30 watts and, and it still wicked away and it was very enjoyable. But you can mouth along with this. You can put in your little fuse clapped-ins or just a tiny little thin wires and two and a half millimeter inner diameter if you want. And it works great. That, that's one thing. I mean, this is just kind of summing this up, really. Uh, this is a very, to me, is a very simple, classy RTA. I do know that it's been it's been available for a while this. This is just me getting my hands on the latest version. So if you've had one of the earlier ones, you'll know all this already. But um I, I'm 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 sorry that this is the first time I've tried one because I'm really enjoying the flavour from this and the draw. Now the draw as it stands right now, so I've got the airflow fully open on both sides. I'm not using the reducers and that's quite a restricted direct lung and it's super smooth as well. It's a beautiful draw, uh, but once again, it's a restricted direct lung. If you put the reducers in, you're taking it down to two one mil air holes. And when you turn down the AFC on the outside as well to reduce the air there, then you are looking at a loose mouth to lung. It's quite a loose mouth to lung. I wouldn't consider it to be a very tight mouth to lung, a loose one. So for me, yes, it works as a mouth to lung. Uh, the one thing I will point out, and this is, yeah, you could class this as a negative. If you want to convert from a mouth to lung to direct lung and vice versa, then you have to muck about taking things to bits, taking the coil out and 
yes, you, you could class that as a negative. You cannot do it on the fly, but you can have it as a dedicated direct lung or a dedicated mouth to lung. I do find it quite easy to build on this one. It's as, I'm not going to lie to you, it's as straightforward as you get. Uh, it really is. Also, uh, you know, with wicking and the cotton, that's the amount of cotton I have used every single time I've put a build in this. And I've not had one dry hit from this and no issues whatsoever. Uh, it's just old classic RTA stuff. You know, if you've put too much juice in it, then you could create an airlock. If that happens, then just undo the top cap a little bit, let the air into it, and you'll see bubbles coming out from underneath your little bell cap there, and you'll be raring to go. It's... let's have a vape. That's superb. I... I'm gonna... Nah, this is um, two thumbs up on this one from me on vape quality and um, vapor production and so on obviously that's all down to your build and what kind of coil you're using what juice you're using and, and whether you can build a coil better than i can but uh, for me and comparing it to my, all my other rtas this is this is tremendous i shall be keeping this i i enjoy it that much I like the design on it i like the finishing the build quality is very very good i'm quite impressed with it uh, once again, it's nothing It's nothing you haven't seen before. Yeah, it's a bit old school, uh, to be brutally honest. I, I do like the design with the, the way the wicking works. You know, those slots are at different heights. So depending on how high you take, you know, the cap here depends on how much juice you're getting in. But heavy VG, n not a problem. Obviously, you know, when you unscrew this, you know, your drip tip here, you know, that's going to increase the height up here as well. Um, on the negative front, the... the Honestly, the only negative I really have is, you know, filling it. You do have to use a needle nose bottle. Um, so yes, that you could class that as a negative. Um, we'll just leave it at that. That's a given. You can't do anything about that. That's just the way it's designed. Uh, also, I will say be very, very careful with that uh, O-ring that sits in the bottom of the deck there. Don't over tighten this cap down. Keep an eye on it. I chewed up my original one. I just, I wasn't paying attention and I over tightened it and chewed it up. I mean, that was my fault, but um, yeah, it's just something to keep an eye on. You can get the spares for it. Uh, you can buy it straight away from the links in the description. Go and have a look. It's, yes. Once again, I'm, I am just sorry that it's taken me this long to get my hands on one and to, and to thoroughly enjoy it. So 3.7 mils of juice in this thing, stainless steel 316 and peak insulators. All the parts come from Greece, it's manufactured in Greece, apart from the screws and the pin which uh, come from the UK. You've got the, the little case that it comes in. I am, again, I'm going to give it two thumbs up. It's not the newest thing on the block, it's not the most innovative thing on the block but it's a good solid atty and it does what it's supposed to do and that's that's all I'm interested in as long as an atty is giving me the vape I want I'm chuffed to hell but the fact that it's got that quality finishing to it it's well presented just makes me makes me a happy puppy really does and on that note I'll go I'll thank you to uh, a big thank you to Andreas uh, a fellow cucumber who uh, gave me some advice on this and he said that it was very, very good, and I trust his opinion, and uh, so I'm glad I did go for reviewing this. Uh, thank you to Georges from uh, Cloud Mods for sending it on. To you guys, as always, thank you for watching, and until next time, bye for now. To the side of me, you will find two other videos that I think you may be interested in. As always, please feel free to leave comments to the video below. Cheers.